We are related. Please let me know because uh, I'm. I a, love it. I just want to say I knew a Navarro. Free tennis but, lessons. <laughs> one, get free tennis lessons. Then there's that, right? Or at least good seats. Well, I'll take anything. Yeah, yeah, I just be good. You know, you know pretty good. <laughs> so, all right. Well, is this weather going to stay that beautiful? Mm -hmm, yeah, nice today, lasting through Thursday. So a great day for the U.S. Open. So let's get right to your forecast. Temperatures throughout this afternoon reaching the mid to upper 70s, and then after sunset, slowly falling down to the upper 60s with lower humidity. It is beautiful. We have a lot of sunshine, a few clouds. It's 73 in Central Park. We still have moderate air quality for now, but that will improve throughout this afternoon. It's 76 in Bridgeport, Montauk, 74 for you, and 74 as well in Wrightstown. It is a bit breezy. North winds are ranging from 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 20, and it stays breezy at times throughout this evening. That northerly flow pushing in drier air, so dew points are currently in the 50s. Those numbers will continue to fall into the refreshing area in the 40s. And then look at tomorrow down to the 30s. We stay comfortable Wednesday and Thursday. And then Friday, that's when things start to change. We get back closer to the 60s. On satellite and radar, skies are quiet. We do have a few puffy cumulus clouds popping up. And this is after we had mostly cloudy skies early in the morning, but more sunshine all across the tri-state. There's a cold front that's moving offshore and high pressure across the Great Lakes. That will move in closer, taking control, and that will be our main weather maker for the rest of this week. On Futurecast throughout this afternoon, keeping us mainly sunny, temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, lower 80s, and tonight clear skies. That will allow low temperatures to fall down into the 40s for portions of the Catskills in northwest New Jersey early tomorrow morning and then Tuesday afternoon, turning a bit cooler with high temperatures below average in the lower 70s. Wednesday and Thursday still holding on to really nice weather thanks to high pressure. But this high pressure that will move offshore heading into Friday in return will have the influence of an approaching cold front. Also a coastal low off the coast of South and North Carolina. That could squeeze out a late day spotty shower on Friday. It's not going to be a washout, but Saturday could be quite wet as this low gets closer. In the tropics still watching this tropical wave that's now pushing into the Caribbean Sea. That could become a tropical depression later this week as that approaches the Yucatan Peninsula and this broad area of low pressure just off the coast of Texas that has a very low chance of becoming tropical but still bottom line bringing them heavy rainfall in southern Texas for us no rain to worry about today mostly sunny a few clouds mixing in high temperatures close to average near 80 degrees a bit breezy at times and tonight falling down to 58 the 40 is possible north and west of the city tomorrow afternoon 73 really nice mostly sunny and we just hit repeat Wednesday, Thursday, but Friday, that's when things start to change, 76 moisture builds. As a result, we'll see periods of rain on Saturday, and we could have a lingering shower or two on Sunday. Wow, you have delivered a lot of good news in that. It's a lot, yeah. It's a lot. You packed it in. Just soak it all in. I know. Well, January, <laughs> not going to be our best oh, friend. David. Right no. now, she is. <laughs> Always is. Coming up on Eyewitness News, it's been a quiet weekend for the box office, but two superheroes keep getting it done. The latest milestone for Deadpool and Wolverine. And a classic kid's drink could soon come in a new package. Why some people think Capri Sun is ditching the pouch and the really sharp straw for a plastic bottle.